All right, today what we're going to do is we're going to use Desmos to create a piece of math art um, using the principle of uh, function transformations. So there's going to be, we'll go through multiple steps. In this first step, we're going to create an initial form that will serve as the base of the artwork. So let's start out with a parent function. So let's choose the function y is equal to the absolute value of x. So here is a parent function that we're going to use as the basis of the art. Now, um, because we're going to be working with transformations of this parent function, what we need to do is we need to introduce plenty of parameters that we can apply to this function. So what we can do, we can have a, a vertical shift. We can have so a times the absolute value of, well, then we can have a horizontal shift, a, hor sorry, a horizontal um, stretch, a dilation. We can also have a horizontal uh, shift, and we can have a horizontal, uh, a vertical shift. And what we've done here is we've just introduced plenty of parameters into this function. And this now represents any transformation of the absolute value function. And the nice thing about Desmos is that we can take these, it knows that these are parameters, Right now they don't have any values. What we can do is we can add a slider for each of them. And what that allows us to do is to change different bits. So we can change the vertical, uh, we can turn change turn, we can change the vertical uh, dilation, we can change the horizontal dilation, we can change the horizontal shift, and we can change the vertical shift. So the next thing to do is to play around with these until you find something um, that you like. So maybe we want to angle down that way. Uh, maybe we, I mean, this for the absolute value function, these are playing off of each other. So let's just get rid of um, this, the horizontal dilation. Uh, let's move this over here, maybe to negative two. And we'll also move this one down here to negative two? Sure, why not? So um, what we have here is we have a new graph that will form the basis for our artwork. Um, a good thing to do now is once we've found something that we like, what we should do is we should save those values to something that you like. Uh, save those so we don't, we don't forget them. So we're going to write y equals negative 2.8 um, times the absolute value. Um, b is 1, so we can just write x minus x plus 2. And then we can write minus 2. So that's our function. That's going to be uh, this piece. Now even if we change these parameters, we st we, we've saved what we like. All right. So um, one thing that we talked about in class, and that might be a useful thing to do in this for our function, is maybe we don't want the, the whole absolute value function. Maybe we only want a piece of it. And if you remember, what we have to do there is we have to restrict the domain. So let's now take this function and let's restrict its domain to something a little bit smaller. So what if we said, what if we only want x between negative 4 and negative 1? Negative 1, remember we use a colon, so we put the domain there, and then we put a colon, and then we put our equation. And now if we turn off the original one, what we have is we have just the piece of our function, and this will serve as the basis for the art that we're going to make. Um, that's enough for this first tutorial. Check back for the next video while we'll go over how to apply a transformation.